for the last century, air power has dominated the landscape of war. Dominating the skies has proven crucial to victory, transforming naval warfare and rendering mighty battleships obsolete. Air power revolutionized naval warfare, pushing large capital ships like battleships into obsolescence. This transformation can be attributed to several key factors, particularly highlighted during World War II. This is how air power changed the game. The development of bombers and torpedo planes significantly altered naval battle dynamics. Aircraft could deliver heavy strikes over vast distances and at a much faster rate than battleships. The largest battleship ever built, the mighty Yamato, can fire up to distances of 42 kilometers or 26 miles. This range and its 18-inch guns can bring 3,000 pounds of armor-piercing or high-explosive shells to enemy ships from a safe distance. Yamato also boasted 410 mm or 16 inches of hardened armor plates, capable of withstanding an 18 inch projectile fired at over 20,000 meters. Yamato's armor was among the thickest and most advanced of its time. In a direct naval engagement, with this striking power and range, Yamato is able to outperform many battleships existing during her time. But even with such firepower and range, Yamato's capabilities are rendered ineffective against aircraft carriers, with even just one carrier capable of bringing hundreds of aircraft to a single engagement. A carrier can safely stay away from miles and launch its planes to attack any surface ship. One SBD Dauntless aircraft has a standard range of 1,939 kilometers and a combat range of 1,794 kilometers with a bomb load. While a battleship might take hours to reach a target, aircraft could strike from hundreds of miles away in a fraction of the time. Air power's ability to dominate the fourth dimension, time, gave it a critical advantage. Aircraft can strategically reach enemy coordinates faster than capital ships, bringing their ordnance to bear earlier. This allows them to strike first, often leaving the enemy fleet defenseless. Influential military theorists like Julio Duet and General Billy Mitchell argued for the supremacy of air power. Duet's The Command of the Air emphasized that air forces could dominate naval units, leading to a re-evaluation of naval strategies that once prioritized battleships. The strengths of air power are undeniable. Since the German attack on Poland in 1929, no country has won a war in the face of enemy air superiority. Historical instances like the sinking of the German battleship Bismarck and the attacks on the USS Arizona at Pearl Harbor demonstrated battleships increasing vulnerability to aerial assaults. This vulnerability was starkly highlighted during the last desperate attempt of the Japanese Imperial Navy to defend Okinawa, Operation Tengo. The battleship Yamato, the largest and most powerful of its kind, was rendered ineffective against relentless air power. Following the U.S. invasion of Okinawa, Japanese military leaders under immense pressure from Emperor Hirohito devised a final, desperate counterattack. The plan was to use the Yamato, the pride of the Imperial Japanese Navy, to strike the U.S. invasion fleet despite the dire state of Japan's Navy and severe fuel shortages. However, the U.S. had intercepted and decrypted Japanese communications detailing the operation. This intelligence, which included precise timings and objectives, allowed U.S. forces to prepare extensively for the Yamato sortie, stripping the mission of any element of surprise. 
On April 5, 1945, the Yamato and its escorting vessels set sail from Japan with the intent to reach Okinawa and engage the U.S. fleet. The mission was essentially a suicide mission with the Japanese Navy acutely aware of their overwhelming disadvantage in both numbers and firepower. As the Yamato approached Okinawa, U.S. naval forces launched a massive air assault. On April 7th, approximately 386 aircraft from multiple carrier task groups were deployed against the Yamato, marking one of the largest coordinated airstrikes of World War II. Yet the first wave of American aircraft attacked the Yamato at around 12.30 p.m. Despite the ship's formidable defenses, it was overwhelmed by the sheer number of planes. Initial strikes resulted in near misses and minor hits, gradually weakening the battleship's structural integrity. By 1.42 p.m., the Yamato had sustained multiple bomb and torpedo hits. Torpedoes caused severe flooding and listing, compounded by the failure of the ship's steering, rendering it nearly immobile. The final wave of attacks at approximately 2 p.m. inflicted catastrophic damage. Additional torpedoes and bombs led to massive flooding. Captain Gusaku Aruga ordered the crew to abandon ship as it became clear that the Yamato was sinking. At 2.20 p.m., the Yamato capsized and sank. Shortly after, a massive explosion, likely from ignited ammunition magazines, was visible from over 200 kilometers away. Of the approximately 3,300 crew members, only 280 survived. The sinking of the Yamato marked the end of the battleship era and underscored the dominance of air power in naval warfare. The U.S. forces had successfully neutralized one of the most powerful battleships ever built with relatively few losses, highlighting a pivotal shift in military strategy and technology. Operation Ten Ichigo and the sinking of the Yamato symbolized the shift in naval strategy and the decline of traditional battleship engagements in favor of air dominance. Despite its might, Yamato lay broken in the face of air power, a testament to the overwhelming force that aircraft could deliver. Maintaining battleships became economically untenable compared to the cost of building and operating aircraft. Mitchell famously stated, 1,000 bombardment airplanes can be built and operated for about the price of one battleship. As military budgets tightened, nations found it more practical to invest in aircraft and smaller, versatile ships. The financial strain of building or repairing a battleship far outweighed the cost of maintaining a fleet of aircraft. Air power transformed naval warfare, making battleships a relic of the past. Its range, speed, strategic dominance, and economic efficiency reshaped the battlefield, ensuring that air superiority remains a cornerstone of modern military doctrine. Air power redefined victory at sea, proving that those who dominate the skies dominate the war. Subscribe to see more stories about aviation history. This is the first of many more topics that I will soon cover.